woodpeckers love wood boring beetle larvae. It's what the majority of their diet consists of, and to get at these juicy beetle larvae, woodpeckers, well, peck wood. And as they peck away, they send all kinds of bits and pieces of wood chips flying. You'd think that could cause some harm to their eyes, but you need not worry. Just a millisecond before they strike the wood with their bill, the nictitating membranes, or third eyelids, closes to keep any of those bits of wood from entering their eyes. And this third eyelid doesn't only serve to keep debris from getting into their eyes, it also helps to keep their eyes from popping out, which could very well happen because of the immense force behind each blow. You may have wondered, with all the pecking they do, how they keep that chiseled beak from wearing down. Well, it turns out that at the tips of their beaks are special cells that continuously replace last material. Self-sharpening beaks. That certainly is clever. Because they eat wood-boring beetle larvae, they are well adapted for climbing and moving about onto trees. Having two forward-pointing toes and two backward-pointing toes, long curved claws that they use to grip onto trees, and their stiff tail feathers which are important since it offers support as they move around or while at rest. And as you can see, they can maneuver very well and quickly, going around the entire tree trunk or moving upward and even backward. To get at the larvae, they use their long tongues that are coated with sticky saliva. Some species have longer tongues than others, and some even have barbs on the tips of their tongue which they can use to spear insects inside of crevices. Northern flickers, however, aren't really one for getting its food from trees. Instead, it prefers to eat on the ground, digging with its unusual and slightly curved bill in search of ants and beetles. To get these ants and beetles, they use their long tongues that are barbed at the tip. Harry and Danny woodpeckers look almost identical, but once you know them apart, there really is no mistaking them. Take this male Danny for an instance. Like the male Harry, he has a red spot on the back of his head too. Both female Downies and Harrys don't have this. But look at his bill. Notice how it's less than half the length of its head, whereas the Harry's bill is just as long as its head, as well as proportionally thicker in appearance than the Downies more chiseled appearing bill. Now take notice to the hairy woodpecker's shoulder area. It has a black comma-like mark which the downy doesn't have. Another clue to help you to know who you are looking at is the outer white tail feathers. Downies have black dots on them, which the hairy woodpeckers do not have. But aside from all of this, it is their size that really distinguishes them. The downy is not very big, in fact not much larger than a white-breasted nuthatch, but the hairy on the other hand is much larger, about the size of a robin. Also, one more thing that can help you to identify who you are seeing is the behavior of the bird with where it is searching for food. Harries will be found on the larger parts of trees most often, whereas downies would most likely be found searching for food on smaller limbs of that of alders and even plant stalks. Another woodpecker species that are hard to tell apart is the American three-toed and the black-backed woodpecker. The black-backed and American three-toed are fairly uncommon. They are both roughly the same size, and they both have only three toes rather than four like with most other woodpeckers. The clear difference between these two is that the black-backed woodpecker, just as its name suggests, has a black back and black hind neck. No weight at all. The American three-toed, however, has white barring going down its back and hind neck. Behind the eye of the American three-toed is a white line, which the black-back doesn't have. One other thing is that the black-backed woodpecker has stronger barring on its flanks than the American three-toed does, and less white in its wings. So those are the differences between the downy and hairy and the black-backed and American three-toed.